Well, the New York Times reports Republican allies of former President Trump are calling for revenge prosecutions and other retaliatory measures against Democrats in response to his felony conviction in New York State. Since a jury found Trump guilty of 34 felonies last week, prominent GOP leaders have demanded that elected Republicans use every available instrument of power against Democrats, including targeted investigations and prosecutions. Senator Marco Rubio of Florida, the top Republican on the Senate Intelligence Committee, who is in contention to be Trump's running mate, wrote on X that President Biden was a demented man propped up by wicked and deranged people. And it was now time to fight fire with fire, using flame emojis to represent the fire. April, will Republicans engage in revenge after the decision in New York State? I'm not sure I would call it revenge, but I can tell you that there are a group of senators that have come out and said that they are not going to cooperate with Democrats on passing a lot of bills. They've restricted that to say that it, it, it's non-security related bills, non-necessary bills. Mm -hmm. So they're still going to make sure that the business of the country and the safety of the country happens, but they are not going to participate in other things. So here's the thing with the the, the this trial, there is still a huge contention from the Donald Trump camp that he did nothing wrong. This was a rigged trial, mm -hmm. and there's an appeal process that's been started right. and is in the works, so no surprise to anybody after the guilty verdicts, but, correct? But, uh, the Democrats' concern is that you're going to politicize, Republicans are going to politicize state attorneys' offices, district attorneys' offices, and attorney general's offices. It's already offices. happened. It's already right. been done. So Politicized by whom? Well, it's politicized in that it's a political office to start with, okay? And we've had for years um, the Soroses and these other people really enhancing and trying to make sure that they get these liberal prosecutors in place. So what you're seeing now is a fight back on that. Carlos, what would you say to that? Well, just to be clear, in the state of Florida, we've already seen the politicization and the weaponization of government, for example, by Governor Ron DeSantis to remove and suspend duly elected state attorneys from office, who, by the way, broke no laws, did nothing wrong. In fact, they are doing their job as the voters elected them but, to do. Carlos, the Florida, Carlos, the Florida, the Florida, the Florida, the Florida, the Florida Supreme Court decided right. against the Orange County State Attorney this week. Right. In a seven well, I mean, look, I mean, we obviously disagree with the decision of the super conservative majority Florida Supreme Court, where, by the way, five of, the, of those seven justices were appointed by Governor Ron DeSantis himself. And so ultimately, at the end of the day, with those oh. state attorneys who were wrongly removed from their duly elected positions, the voters will have a chance to litigate uh, and decide this issue when they cast their ballots at the polls to reelect Monique Worrell and Andrew Warren. But the other thing I do want to mention about these, uh, these allegations from Trump politicians in Washington who say that, oh, this wasn't a fair trial. Oh, the Biden administration, you know, brought these political prosecutions uh, against Donald Trump. Listen, the Trump, the Trump charges were because he committed 34 felony crimes, no, and those no. crimes were prosecuted by true. the state of New York. That was, that is not true. Look, okay, Pam, why, why do you say it's not true? Pam, to do with Pam those it's not. Pam, why what, do you say no, it's not true? That's Talk about 34. You're, what you're doing is you're taking one charge and divide it 34 different ways is what is what happened. And this this particular charge that you're talking about was 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 not even being taken up by the by the by the feds, and they tried to make it an FEC federal election issue, which is federal, being tried in a state court. So I think we have a jurisdictional issue right there. Let, let me let, let, no, no, wait, wait a minute. Hold hold on just a sec. I, I, I want to play. All the time. Hold, hold on. I want to play a soundbite that President former President Trump uh, gave the other night. He was being interviewed by Dr. Phil on Thursday. Let's play the soundbite. I think you, you have so much to do, you don't have time to get even. You only have time to get right. Well, revenge does take time, I will say that. It does. And sometimes revenge can be justified. 
So, Victor, when the president says revenge takes time, revenge sometimes is justified, what do you make of that? Well, first of all, I want to make this crystal clear. This case was about, does anybody in the world not believe that Donald Trump didn't have sex with Stormy Daniels? Of course he had sex with Stormy Daniels. And did he, did he pay her to shut her up? Of course he paid her to shut her up. That's what this case was about, plain and simple. And a lot of cases are decided either the feds can do it or the state can do it, depending on who decides to take the case. But it doesn't matter if it's federal or, 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 or statewide, Look, but that's the point here. The p people overlook. So all the Republicans are in the same boat with Donald Trump. They all rushed to his defense. And I got a hand to the Republican Party. They were on the message 100% saying, oh, this was a horrible let, case. Let's give April and the last word. That was a fact. So let's give April the last word. Let me just say this, that numerous legal scholars have weighed in on this since the verdicts came out. Okay. Um, and, and there has been a litany of information that says that there was a ton of stuff that was done wrong, right. improperly, right. and I improprietary stuff. And in that addition to that, there is a group of former attorney generals of the United States of America that have just filed a friend of the court brief in the appeal process, okay. supporting Donald Trump and supporting the fact that this trial was not conducted properly and under the guise of the law as it should have been. So we'll see how it turns out, but we're, what the, the true answer is gonna be in November 5th. No, and he make it off, but so, but so did okay. Harvey Weinstein. Everybody right. knows what a pig he was. I mean, Harvey Weinstein. <laughs>